Hello and welcome to GrassiMath.com where math is for everyone. Today we're going to solve an algebraic equation with a square root symbol using the substitution method in preparation for the TSI. I'll also show the algebraic method at the very end of the video. So let's get started. All right. So first we're going to use the substitution method. It's a great method for multiple choice tests and we're going to use it to try to uh, make the algebra a little bit less intimidating. If you're someone who panics on tests, substitution can be your fallback method. So in order to substitute, basically what I'm going to do is just take out the letter R and put some parentheses. And then I'm going to put the choices that are presented inside these brackets. Each one has to match. Okay? Uh, it's very important that you know that brackets do not mean X and Y. Those would be an ordered pair. They would be in parentheses. These are special parentheses. They're called brackets. And the brackets mean that each answer choice would have to give you a good answer in order for A to be correct. All right, so let's try positive 5. All right, so what I'm going to do is get the square root. And underneath the square root, uh, we're going to do, well, basically the pattern we're going to follow is germ dust. So the G stands for grouping. And this is a group underneath the square root. You see how they're all under there? That means that it's a grouping. So let's do it as a grouping. Uh, negative 4. And now I see negative and positive. So my next term is going to be negative. And 17 times 5. OK, so let's do 17 times 5. And we're going to get 5 times 7 is 35. 5, 8. We're going to get 85 equals 9. OK, and what I'm going to get is square root negative 89 equals 9. Now we know that a negative sign cannot fall under the square root. That will give us an imaginary answer. And there's no such imaginaries on the TSI. This basically would be no real solutions. And that's certainly not going to be positive 9. So 5 did not match. It gave me a negative under the square root. That means it is out. We cannot have just a single negative number alone under the square root. All right, so now let's erase all this and try the next combination. Uh, the next number I see is just negative 5 by itself. Oh, and of course, A is out because both 5 and negative 5 would have had to work. And since positive 5 didn't work, that means A is completely out. B just has negative 5, so let's try that one. All right, so negative 4. Negative times negative makes positive, and 17 times 5 is still 85. Ah, okay, so now negative, eight, negative 4 and positive 85 combine to make negative 81. Or, I'm sorry, not negative 81. <laughs> 85 is bigger, so this is, should be positive 81. Ah, now we're in business. So here I see the square root of 81 equals 9. And that's correct, because 9 times 9 is, in fact, 81. So we get 9 equals 9, which means that negative 5 did fit. And since it fits and it's the only one inside its brackets, choice B must be correct. And that's it. Uh, that's all I have to do to solve this problem. Now if you're interested in seeing the algebraic method, I said I would include it at the end of the video, so here it is. The square root of negative 4 minus 17r equals 9. I'm going to make my little map over here that we use in school, positive and negative. Multiply and divide, square, and square root. If you're going to solve equations, it's nice to have this little map with you for when you're starting out. Okay, so first I see a big square root, and I want to get rid of it. The opposite of square root is square. So what am I going to do? I'm going to put parentheses around this guy, and I'm going to square him. And if I do it on one side, I have to do it on the other side. So the square root and the square basically cancel out. And now I'm going to have negative 4 minus 17r equals 9 times 9 is 81. It's strange. You see that a lot of the same numbers come up on both sides of this method. And, th and that shows you how uh, math, there are many, ma many methods of solving things in math. Okay, so now I have an equation and I need to put numbers with numbers and letters with letters. Because my final, e my final answer needs to say r equals something. Okay, so I'm trying to get closer to that. So I need an R side and a number side. So therefore, this 4, or this negative 4 actually, needs to go over to the numbers side. And when it goes over, it will become positive 4, because the opposite of a negative 4 is a positive 4. That keeps things equal. So let's see, negative 17 
R equals 85. And now we got to change this to be positive because I see that this R is positive. So I'm going to put 17 R equals negative 85. If you change this side, you have to change this side. Okay, so now I'm going to divide. Multiplying is crossed out by dividing. So 17 times R, we divide by 17. And here we divide by 17. And now I have R equals negative and positive makes negative. And 85 divided by 17 is actually 5. You can check that out if you want. 17 times 5. 5 times 7 is 35. And 5 plus 3 is 8. So that's how I got that. Uh, 85 divided by 17 is negative 5. And you can see that that's exactly the answer we got. All right. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and to click the bell icon. And of course, to visit the website at www.grossymath.com.